What's going on guys? Tropical Fish Guy here. Today I'm going to showcase a very special, very beautiful fish to you guys. Uh, probably something that's not uh, normally found at the big box stores or even at your local uh, fish stores. Uh, so maybe if you ever get a chance to run across one of these, you have the opportunity to pick it up. And that is the Peacock Gudgeon. Uh, also known as the Peacock Gobi, but not really a Gobi, it's actually a Gudgeon. But uh, let me tell you all about it. The Peacock Gudgeon is a beautiful fish native to Papua New Guinea. The Peacock Gudgeon has gorgeous colors with an eye spot near the back of his tail. That's how he got his common name. Well, you can see here that the peacock gudgeon is very aware of its surroundings and he knows when you're watching him. It's a very smart fish, uh, very, uh, a very um, conscious of the things that are, are around him. You'll see here that he has beautiful colorations and actually this one I believe is a female because of the black line on the bottom fin uh, once she gets into position I'll show her to you more clearly but uh, you can see that the coloration on this fish once I get this uh, once she moves around a little bit you'll see the coloration on this fish makes her very beautiful to look at a very easy fish to take care of Uh, you see the uh, orange and red bars going up and down her body. Uh, the spot, the peacock spot on the back of her tail. Uh, the nice blue colorations around her gills. Her eyes are pretty. Uh, the red streaks on the top of the uh, top fins there with the yellow and the black markings. Just a overall beautiful fish. Um, and the, another wonderful thing about this fish is that it's very easy to take care of. It's a very peaceful fish. He, as you can see here, he's getting along with my guppies, my neons, uh, quarry cats, just about uh, any, any, anybody that uh, is peaceful. This fish is very um, easy to get along with. Gets along with them very well. Uh, he does like, uh, they do like to have lots of hiding places. Um, they average about one to two inches. They can reach up to three inches uh, as, as max size, but uh, normally if I've seen them, just uh, one to three inches. Uh, they eat pretty much anything. Uh, they'll, you know, they, they, they're omnivores. They eat a varied diet. They're not too picky. They do flakes, pellets, freeze-dried, frozen. Uh, they'll accept a, a lot of high-quality dry foods, but uh, it's important to give them some high quality frozen foods as well. Um, they, they do need some protein. Uh, you can keep them in a temperature range in the, between the low to high 70, 72 to 79. A pH is pretty uh, easy to keep, 6.5 to 7.5. And a, I would say, a minimum tank size, uh, this guy's very happy in a 10 gallon tank. You know, a lot of people recommend 15 gallons, but uh, if you give them plenty of hiding spots and plenty of places to uh, to duck out and, and uh, cover, then I would say 10 gallon, but nothing smaller than that. He is a micro predator, so he will eat some small shrimps if you got any uh, shrimp or anything like that in there. But bigger shrimp, I do have some cherry shrimp in there with him that are doing just fine. I'm sure he... Uh, would, would eat the uh, the smaller ones just as handily, but uh, definitely a fish to consider if you're looking for a peaceful community fish who just is brilliant uh, colors and uh, very unique personalities. I would definitely recommend the Peacock Gudgeon.
All right, there you have it, guys, on the Peacock Gudgeon. I hope you uh, liked that. Uh, definitely a fish well worth having. He is a little bit on the, the high side. Uh, I can find him here from anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks each. A little bit expensive, but definitely worth the, uh, the price from his personality, his color, his looks. They live a long time. Uh, so uh, if you ever get an opportunity, I would highly suggest getting one. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Please give me a like, comment, tell me what you think, if you've ever had one or if you plan on getting one. That would be great. Send me some pics at pics at tropicalfishguy.com uh, with uh, pictures of your fish, your betas. I especially love to see, but you're the fish as well. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Happy fish keeping. Peace out.